Hello. Today we're going to visit the Neato Robotics BotVac Model 80 and see how to take it apart. We'll start with uh, removing the basic units that can be taken off manually like the dirt bin and we can flip it over and I'm going to use a couple of blocks of wood here to protect the uh, LiDAR sensor from damage lay it down there and then we will remove the side brush then the brush guard and then the cleaning brush which is a combination uh, pet brush that's uh, sent with the model 80 with the model 75 you get this only beater bar type brush instead of a combination bristle and beater bar also you'll notice that there's a sealed ball bearing placed on the end of this uh, cleaning brush this unit ships with a shielded ball bearing which fills up with dirt, dust and dirt causing a failure fairly early and your needle will complain of a stuck brush so get this uh, sealed ball bearing replacement as soon as you can. You can check my website for that. Alright, now we will uh, remove the battery from the BotVac 80. There's a plastic clip that holds the uh, connector of the battery pack in place. We need to remove that. All right, once the battery is removed, then we can go back and visit the front bumper. It's different than the uh, bumpers that were built <coughs> excuse me, for the Neato XV series. <coughs> it just uh, basically clips on. So you just have to slide it off. Alright, that will, uh, removing that bumper exposes two screws on the very front that have to be removed in order to get the assembly apart that holds the case together. You see this screw and one on this end. So we remove both of those. These are not Phillips head, by the way. These are uh, now a star type uh, screw. So we will have to take the Phillips head off and put the star head on to remove these screws. Alright, once those two screws are removed, we can flip it over and take the rest of them out. Now 
there will be a total of six screws to remove on the bottom. Let's take two here, two here, and two here. So I'm not going to spend all the video time removing the screws. Stand by. Alright, after we have these initial six removed, there's two more that have to be taken out to free the front end. Now, once those screws are removed, then we uh, release the top from the bottom by pushing these tabs out of the way. That exposes part of the circuit board and the single connector that has to be removed to free the top plate. And once that's freed, then this can be taken back. And now we have a bird's eye view of the inside of the BotVac 80. There's a couple of additional weights in the back to compensate for the design of this new model, which is a lot larger than the XV series. There's a new style support for the drive wheel. Instead of a uh, stretch type spring, it's now a compression spring. So to get one of the springs away from the drive wheel takes a little bit of finesse here with a screwdriver and uh, to remove the compression. And there you have it. You might want to do this in an enclosed room just in case that spring gets loose from you. Now you'll see the drive wheel is loose. Now in order to get to the actual drive wheels there are several other disassembly steps that have to be performed and we'll start those now by removing the LiDAR from the top. I'm going to loosen all these screws and then we'll get the light out of the way and then we'll get access to this drive wheel uh, locking assembly. Alright, with the screws removed we can get this out of the way. You'll see that we've got an assembly down here that has to be snapped loose that will free the drive wheels for access. You can see there's a plastic tab right here that has to be pressed to release the uh, assembly that holds the drive wheels in place. See the one on this side has been relaxed and I have to put this down to push the other one out of the way. Now once those locking tabs have been released then you can take this basic assembly that hides the drive motors and move it away so you'll have access to the drive motors. Now that'll give you access to the drive motors and just in case you ever have to replace one these both look to be like a mirror image so the one on the left should fit on the right side if you had to. One thing to be careful about is the uh, sensor switch that detects when the uh, motor drive motor is uh, down or up. It's a little micro switch that uh, might come out of its holding, so be careful. And that's the end of this. Good luck putting it back together. <laughs>